What's going on everybody? We're back again with another review and today we have the Lucky Bags Trinity. This is a really cool bag. It's really interesting. There's a lot of different uh, things going on with this bag that makes it an interesting bag. Uh, starting off with the materials, on that fast side you have the, the same material that they use on the Surefire. So you have that 8-speed eight, uh, eight fast side. On the slow side, I thought this carpet was the same carpet that you find on the the Siva Dark Horse. Um, it looks just like it. It kind of felt like it, but after doing a little bit more research, found out that no, it's actually not the same carpet uh, that the Dark Horse uses. This uh, material, the pattern is a little bit tighter. Uh, there could be a little bit more uh, layers, if you will, to, to this pattern. And it's a little bit scratchier than that Dark Horse. It's not nearly as soft, but you have eight speed on the fast side and you have a four speed on the slow. And I believe it. I believe that it's a four speed. The Siva Dark Horse played at a five, so I was a little bit skeptical on those speed ratings, but it definitely plays a four and I agree that it plays like a four. You can kind of see uh, on, the, on the side here with the video of me throwing that a lot of times that first bag would be a, a first bag blocker. So I agree that it's a four. We'll do a close up on the materials. So we can kind of see those. That's a little bit dirty, but you know, throwing it, it's gonna get that way. You can kind of see that weave pattern though. And then that surefire fast. Love that bandana design, big tone there. But the interesting thing about this bag is when you get those four eight speed materials, you think that it's going to be a fuller carpet bag with a mixed bead fill, something like that, to give it a lot of action uh, around the hole, stuff like that. But this bag is mostly disc. There are a couple of beads in the fill, but I think that was just to try to give it a little bit more uh, hole friendliness or forgiveness. This is a hole runners, sliders, slow control bag. There isn't a lot of kick to this whatsoever. It can cut. You can get it to roll, no problem. Uh, if you watch open number one, Tony Smith, Mark Richards were using it, rolling them, no problem. So if you can roll a bag, you can definitely roll this bag. It is not difficult to roll in that manner. It's not gonna be as easy as a puffy fuller bead fill bag, but it's still capable of doing that. But it is very easy to control this bag. And once again, it's not gonna punish you too much if your bag isn't perfectly flat when you throw it. That um, mostly disc fill helps it even out as soon as it lands and slide up the board. It's not gonna slide too much because we have that four speed on there, but it's a, it's a really cool bag. And usually when you have a, a four speed or slower bag, it, it tends to wanna hang up around the hole if it doesn't have that perfect speed to take it, carry it all the way up into the hole. I didn't have it really hang too much. There were a few that hung up there, but really, if it got into the hole, it would hang for a little bit, but it would drop in. I don't know if that's the bead fill taking place, or if it's the material, not the bead fill, excuse me, the beads in the fill, uh, or the, the material itself, maybe it just doesn't hang up as much, but I really didn't seem to have that big of an issue. What I will say though, is this material, when, it stops flat and there's a lot of that material in contact with the board. It doesn't like to get going. It's not the easiest material to push through. If you have a single bag, you can use that eight speed and you're gonna push through it quite easily. If you have two bags sitting bunched up, you're really gonna to have to throw with a little bit more gusto even with that eight speed material because it's not gonna to want to move very well. These bags, this material, it grabs on and it holds on to that, the surface of that board. And those, it's not the easiest material to push into when there's multiple bags uh, sitting behind each other. But all in all, I really enjoy this bag. Also, it's not a super thick bag. There isn't a whole lot of fill in here. If you bunch it up, you can see almost halfway filled with beads. Uh, when you do that little fold over technique and just going off the flop alone i mean it's got plenty of flop it is not a super thick bag it is not what you would expect a traditional carpet bag 
to look and feel like. It has that six by six template, and then it's just a little bit thinner. Even stacked up here, you can see it's not a super thick puffy bag. It is meant for that person that likes a floppier bag, that likes a little bit less, that likes that disc fill, that just wants to run hole for hole, but wants to have control and be able to lay blockers with ease. And that's exactly who this caters to. If you're a hole for hole runner, maybe you're a fast bag player that wants to step it down a little bit, that wants to try that block push game or that dirty style game, but don't want to jump into a full bead fill bag because you're afraid of how it could jump all over the place on it or you may not be able to control it. This is a great bag to start with. It has that 4.8 speed that we talked about. It's got a disc fill, so it's going to be a lot more forgiving on landing, but you're still going to be able to learn how to shape those shots, to learn how to do all those crazy shots, and you'll be able to block and push with ease unless you have two or more bags stacked up, and then it's going to, it's going to push back at you. But all in all, this is a great bag. I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a 4.8 speed. Oh, uh, that's a lot more friendly. Give them a check out, Lucky Bags Trinity, and we'll see you in the next one.